What it do, what it is, ladies and gentlemen. This is the peace dealer. Sharinga and I intact. I'm watching. Psych. But other than that, y'all, I wanted to make a quick special topic video about a very common misconception that people make when they talk about Gemini. It's really, it's really a semantics thing. So you'll realize that you're right, but you're wrong. Okay? And now, uh, when I talk about zodiac signs, this is amazing. I'm doing this video and Saturn. For those that don't know that, if I, if I did that right, that's the Saturn glyph. But other than that, I'm talking about a zodiac sign, but um, try your best not to look at zodiac signs to where you, you polarize. Like I could talk about a Gemini and you might think, okay, this just applies to Gemini suns. No, this applies to you because you have Gemini in your chart. So knowing this about the sign, it's gonna directly impact suns more and moons. But knowing this about the sign can help you understand your sign better. Because everyone accesses Gemini. If you've ever talked before, if you ever thought um, mutable signs are just like the effect of the actual element and the effect of air, wind, that's, that's, that's Gemini, baby. But other than that, please know that this video does apply directly to you, whether you are a Gemini or not. And it's just a quick, it's just a quick breakdown. One thing that irks my spirit is when people say, oh, Geminis are two different people. Um, first of all, I kind of get offended when people don't acknowledge that there is a duality inherent in Gemini. Like, the, like I could have said that right now, and some people will think, oh, that's just some Zodiac bullshit. Like, that's just a sign thing. The existence of dual signs are real. So everything that I'm saying about Gemini applies to Pisces, but in a more omni scale, not in the same way. But in order to understand Pisces, you have to get this about Gemini. Dual signs are real. And that's why it's not, it's not ironic that the most misunderstood zodiac signs in astrology happen to be dual. Pisces and Gemini are easily the most misunderstood. Okay? Scorpio is misunderstood. Aquarius is misunderstood. Even Libra can be, but like there are certain facets of them that you get uncompromisingly and no one can take it away versus Pisces and Gemini. They're inherently misunderstood. No one to this day really understands these signs and it's because they're dual and it's because in this dimension that only allows you to see, you know, a certain perception, you, you can see the length you can see the width, you can see the height, right? But you can't really perceive that much else. That limitation does not allow you to understand Pisces and Gemini energy as it should. So it's very, very important that you understand this is where we start to enter the realm of delusion and craziness. Because when you can't control this, it comes off as delusional. Versus when you can, those who don't believe it will see, oh shit. Oh, shit. I just got shit on by a bird. Oh, my God. I just got shit on by a bird. That is crazy. Um, I'm talking about dual signs and a bird just took a crazy shit on me. I have to go change the shirt. But other than that, uh, yeah. Understanding dualism and zodiac signs is very important because... This is really what's going to help you gain a greater awareness of the dimensions around you. So it irks me when at one level people don't believe that there's different sides to Gemini. But what irks me is when people say that there's just two sides to Gemini. And that is not true. Gemini is the third zodiac sign. So in this third dimension, the duality we experience allows you to see two different sides of Gemini, the dark and the light half. In truth, Gemini is three people. Gemini is the third sign. It represents the Trinity, the Holy Trinity, the Father, Son, and the Spirit. But you don't have to, you don't have to put Father, Son, and Spirit. You can make it directional, up, down, or left and right, which is four, I know. 
or you can do freaking time space consciousness i cannot get over the bike with this bird shit on me right now i, I heard that's a good look but other than that gemini really represents three okay you can think of it as the devil and the angel on the shoulder but that third being is the being that's conscious of the two so the reason why you don't notice that third being is because in this third dimensional realm you see it express itself through one of the other two but that doesn't mean gemini is just two people we're actually three especially if you're a gemini son but keep this in mind because if you have no gemini in your chart where is it, it where where is what house is it you'll see this dynamic play out as well uh other than that that's all i wanted to share you can apply that to Pisces so that it, it, it takes on an even more omni understanding where they're not just three people, maybe nine, but um, keep that in mind or 12. Um, but once you deal with Pisces, you, you can't break it down into finite uh, stuff because that'll, that'll take away from the integrity of it. Just keep that in mind. I feel like some of you really needed to know that when you think of Gemini, don't think of us. Don't think of the energy as just twins that are two different people. In this third dimensional realm, it looks like that. But if you are able to perceive at a higher dimension, at fifth, sixth, seventh dimensions, you'd actually see it's two plus one, an observer. And that's really all I wanted to share. I'm gonna get this bird shit off my shirt and change. And y'all stay blessed. Peace.